Hey everybody, it's Dr. Kara, and this is your monthly forecast for September 2018. I'm using my Animal Wisdom Oracle cards, and um, yeah, so here we are. So I'm just shuffling the deck, and we'll see what, um, what kind of pops out. I think it's these three. So it's been interesting because I've been um, using these cards for a year and a half now, I guess. And, um, and the way that I choose the cards, I'm starting to feel them more like in my fingertips, like which ones want to come out. Like it's an energetic kind of a thing rather than shuffling and then just pulling them off the top of the deck. So um, that's been an interesting evolution for me. And with these monthly forecasts, I really like to... Um, kind of tell a story. So I choose three cards and then we'll see what each card means individually and then we'll look at what are they bringing together. So what's the big picture story about what's going to um, be coming up energetically this month. So our first card is the woodpecker to me. Woodpecker is all about community and, and being part of something bigger. So it's, um, it's really about being true to yourself and um, and being in community. Then the second card is the wolf, and the wolf is, gosh, it's really about capability, being capable. You can do it. You can um, do it all, and really the way to do it all is to be in the present moment right here, right now. So um, there's wolf, and then, this card's a little dusty, um, and then we've got hawk, and Hawk, my interpretation of Hawk is really different from other people's, but um, what Hawk said to me was that there's this single-minded um, focus and determination, and, and it's almost like an absence of, of interaction or of um, connectedness. So that's the, um, you know, being an emotional part of it. But Hawk also um, is about patience. So to me, the Hawk card is really about having a goal, focusing on it, and being willing to wait for what you want, not settling, but being very determined and very focused and waiting for what you want to show up. Um, hawks are, are sit and wait predators and they swoop when the time is right and they, they have their criteria for when they're gonna swoop or not, so that focus. Um, looking at the three cards together, let me just hold them up so you could see them all together. So we've got, oh, bad, bad lighting. Let's see if that's better. So we've got woodpecker, wolf, and hawk. Woodpecker is about community. Wolf is about doing it all. And hawk is about focus and determination and patience. And, um, and so as I look at these cards, to me, it feels like it's really time to, um, to align yourself with a bigger calling, a bigger message. I know that personally, I'm really feeling this um, in, in my life and in my business, which are interchangeable. They're totally interwoven. So just feeling that call to step up to be bigger, which um, started, you know, especially with the Animal Wisdom World Summit last week. The last week of August was um, really an expansion for me, really holding the space for a, a big community of almost 4,000 people participating in that summit. And it left me with this urge to, to align with something even bigger, to have a bigger cause. And so I'm feeling that woodpecker energy to be part of a community, to, to not just um, be part of a community, but to be a leader of a community. And, and maybe not the leader, but in leadership, you know, like moving things forward. So you, you really find out who you are when you are on purpose and on task and working for a cause that's beyond yourself, that's bigger than you are. And, and that's part of what woodpecker is about. It's about being in community and caring about that community um, as much as or more than you care about yourself. So <clears throat> I was thinking about for myself, the, the wording is, um, you know, the causes that are calling to me all have to do with animals and, and um, raising consciousness on the planet. So 
there's there's a piece that I came to start to think of as animal well-being for my calling, for my purpose, for my something bigger that I'm um, I feel myself being drawn into. So think about what is that for you? What are your values? What do you um, aspire to? Who do you admire? Uh, what, what do you want your life to be about? If you were looking back, you could say, wow, look, I was a part of this. I, I made this happen. I impacted the world in this way. And obviously it doesn't have to be outside of your immediate sphere of influence. It could be you know, within your family, it could be your community, it could be globally, it could be really anything. But this is a time to really um, kind of go within and think about what is, how am I going to go without? Go within so you can figure out how you want to go outside of yourself. How do you want to be bigger than you already are and be part of something bigger and, and really value that? And the wolf showing up is saying, you can do it. You have the capability to make this happen. Wolf is um, I mean, the word capable comes to my mind all the time. They just do it and they do it all. And they do it all not by feeling spread out too thin, but they do it all by, by being right here, right now, this moment. Here's what I'm doing. This is my focus. So Wolf is saying, do it. Be here in the moment. Be here fully. Do this piece right now in front of you. And that will be a stepping stone to whatever that bigger picture is. And then Hawk is reminding us to keep that vision, you know, to hold that vision, to wait for it, to be patient, to, um, you know, to, to, to be unattached, but, but to be determined at the same time. So it's kind of an um, interesting little juxtaposition there, that single-minded focus and being unemotional, but also you're you're attached to what you want to have happen that's part of the focus so um you can do it so figure out what it is you want to do know that you can do it and then just stick with it until you get it this is what hawk is really saying be patient stay focused you can do it wait till it comes for you wait till it happens so that's my forecast for September 2018. Um, and that's my take on it. And sometimes, you know, the cards speak to other people in different ways. So if you have something to add to that, please just leave a comment below because I love those conversations and I love the expansion of, of considering something that didn't come to me, you know, just right in the middle of this um, this as I'm recording this. So I would love to hear from you. Of course, you know the drill. Click the like button, click the bell button if you want to be notified and um, subscribe. And definitely leave a note in the comments. And let me know how it goes. If you're in the same place that I am, because I'm really feeling this energy of September already. Um, let me know what's calling you. What's your bigger why? What's what do you want to be a part of? What do you want to see in the world? And um, and let's let's hold that vision together. So, I will look forward to seeing you next month. And um, have a great month. Okay, bye.